welcome, welcome everybody to the live stream. We're celebrating 5,000 subscribers on the channel. Unbelievable. Never years ago did I think I'd be hitting 5,000, or maybe I did, I don't know. But anyway, 5,000 subscribers. It's unbelievable. And uh, since I have things to do today, figured I'd take you guys along for the ride. I have to get gas, so I'll probably be stopping at Oakdale Commons <clears throat> to get gas at BJ's. <coughs> Just popping in to say hi from an old Vestal resident now living in Arizona. Love your channel. Well, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. So I'm slowly... Just to kill time, I'm going to go over the parkway and then over to Oakdale Commons to get some gas. But yeah, thank you everybody who's uh, supported the channel over the years. And uh, thank you to everybody who joins these uh, live streams that are just usually me driving. <laughs> but anyway, this is a long traffic light up here. But uh, maybe pop down a comment, let me know uh, what your favorite videos are on the channel. There's 5,000 of you here now. Don't forget to hit the notify button on the live stream for the solar eclipse. I'm going to have cameras in four different cities running for that. <clears throat> And, uh, yeah, so that's going to be interesting. I have a camera in New York, Rochester, Syracuse, and, of course, here in Binghamton. And you'll be able to see all four of them on the screen at the same time. So it'll, uh, I'm not going to point them, I'm not going to have them pointing directly at the sun for obvious reasons, but it'll give you a glimpse into the amount of darkness that we get. Derek says, congratulations. Thank you very much, sir. <clears throat> Having 5,000 of you here now is quite the achievement, I feel like. wonder how long it'll take to hit 10,000. I don't know. It's finally somewhat nicer weather here today. It's 49 according to my car right now. And after three or four days of on and off rain, it, uh, it feels like a great thing. But yeah, 5,000 subscribers. So I figured I had to go live and thank everybody and take you guys along for a little bit of a ride. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to uh, live stream for this afternoon, but uh, yeah, 5,000 people. Unbelievable. There's about 300 of uh, the subscribers that are from the early 2000s. This channel actually started in 2006. And I bet if you looked it up, we're probably one of the first YouTube channels that actively posted back in the day for a while. Took a break throughout college and uh, took a break throughout college and many years after, but started posting regularly again around 2000 maybe, or uh, 2020 and 2021. So yeah. Uh, 5,000 people here in April of 2024. Incredible. Let's see. I want to get to... Maybe we'll go down... We'll go down Riverside, maybe. Instead of Vestal. We'll go down Riverside. <clears throat> but yeah. Unbelievable amount of support on the channel these days. And uh, I just had a live stream to say thank you to everybody. And I figured some people... Wow, the river's really high. Not surprising after all the rain. Uh, but yeah, I figured some people would want to come along for a short drive today. So, take you with me. <clears throat> Got another comment here. Congratulations, I especially enjoy videos showing my old stomping grounds in JC. Uh, well, I'll be in JC in a couple minutes. We're actually going to go to... Um, we're actually going to go to Oakdale Commons to get some gas. Carson says, was right there Monday. I assume you're talking about Oakdale Commons, but I could be wrong. 
CJ Greenman, congratulations. Thank you, CJ. Appreciate it. Appreciate it a lot. <clears throat> Riverside Drive is a very slow drive sometimes with all the traffic and the lights and whatnot. Tigers at Mets. About to start pitching. Oh, man. If it wasn't uh, for copyright violations and things like that, maybe I'd put the game on and watch with you guys. <laughs> But uh, yeah, Riverside Drive. There's a lot of really old historic buildings. The Kil We're walking, driving right by the Kilmer Mansion right now. <clears throat> wow, that Toyota came very close to causing a car accident right there. Interesting. Riverside Drive, I think, is one of my favorite streets in Binghamton. It's very old and regal feeling, like a lot of really pretty old structures, and uh, you know, you got the hospital on the road too, the Lord's Hospital, which just got bought by Guthrie a couple months ago. Or at least the transaction was finalized a couple months ago. So, um, yeah, you got the hospital here. There's a lot of cool stuff on this street. It's a very nice area. Guthrie over here. <clears throat> for those of you that don't know, I was in the wireless business for about nine years. And I have a secondary channel called Upstate Speed Tests that basically just compares and contrasts wireless networks for the most part. But there's also some discussion of the wireless business in, in its totality on that channel as well so um, you know if you're into that if you're nerdy and into technology like I am from time to time you might enjoy that second channel again that's called upstate speed tests and on that channel we're getting closer and closer to the magic number of a thousand subscribers on this channel though today we're celebrating five thousand subscribers again can't say thank you to you guys enough and yeah since we hit that magic number i figured we'd go live and uh take some guys take some of you guys along for a ride silver nexus says congratulations frank thank you silver nexus thank you so much <clears throat> and again don't miss our live stream on monday april 8th for the total solar eclipse I have friends in various cities across the state, Rochester, Syracuse, here in Binghamton, and New York City, that are helping me patch in feeds from all those cities into one live stream so that you guys can see what it's like to be in those areas during the solar eclipse that's coming up on Monday, March 8th. That's this coming Monday. The live stream is already uh, posted on the channel, at least the link is, and the teaser trailer. So if you guys want to get a glimpse at all four major upstate cities that are going to be in, in the eclipse. Now New York and Binghamton are not all the way in the eclipse, uh, but they're still going to be over 90%. I think New York City's like 85, but Binghamton's like at least 90, 95%. There's Sugar Lips Ice Cream Stand, which is now open for the season. So is Wolfie's in Endicott, if anybody's local. All those ice cream parlors are uh, open now. So that's exciting. We got another comment here. Uh, congrats on the achievement. Thank you, sir. Silver Nexus says, awesome, great idea, and teamwork. Yeah. Uh, everybody that's doing it is fairly well-versed with technology, so it should go well. On my end, I'm using a software tool called Streamlabs, and I'm actually using it right now. There is a monthly cost associated with Streamlabs, so I don't know if I'll keep it much beyond the... Uh, 
I don't know if I'll keep it much beyond the solar eclipse because my streaming needs are fairly usually fairly simple uh, usually I don't need much in the way of a live stream uh, but yeah so the uh, Streamlabs is gonna help patch that that technology together we're coming to the western end of uh, Riverside now we're coming up to the traffic circle the traffic circle what is that noise Oh, there's a giant helicopter above me. That's crazy. That looks like something straight from Lockheed Martin. It's like, uh, I would turn the camera and show you guys, but I'm driving. Uh, there's a giant helicopter overhead. <clears throat> so for those of you who don't remember or aren't from the area, the traffic circle was completely rebuilt in 2006. And they built the ramp you see to my left uh, called the flyover which carries a majority of the traffic away from the circle. The old circle was much bigger uh, than this one. <laughs> Somebody's funny. When my dogs went in the river, it was called Streamlabs. <laughs> That's hilarious. Anyway, uh, let me merge with traffic. Oh, hey, there's my old car. I used to have a Subaru Legacy for my current car. So there you go, it's right in front of me. <coughs> well, there's a lot of traffic up here. I'm trying to get in the other lane to pass some of these people, but uh, this car is coming left and right, so. What is happening? one of the biggest traffic lighted intersections in the county here where 201 uh, Reynolds Hill Road I think this is uh, and Harriel Drive all meet up and you can see the new Dick's House of Sport and BJ's directly ahead of us uh, Silver Nexus no that was Riverside Drive the whole way uh, we were not on Floral Avenue at all. And I don't know if you guys can see in the distance or not, but they're pulling. Let's see if I can bend it to my will here. Just to the right of the center of frame, they're installing a new sign over the entrance to the Oakdale Mall. Uh, I don't know what it's going to be or what it's going to look like, but uh, the new sign is finally going in. I do have to get out of the car and pump some gas, but I'll keep you guys streaming while I do it. I'm afraid if I don't pump some gas, I may not get home. <laughs> kind of waited till the last minute, but that's all right. So anyway, let me know down in the comments what your guys' plans are for the upcoming solar eclipse. And I'm going to try to beat this green light because it is really long if you don't get through it. Oh! Almost made it. <laughs> Nobody judge me. I held my nose, so it's legal. Uh, someone said, since you're a travel vlog, have you ever considered storm chasing? Uh, I, that, you know, that does sound interesting and exciting. I do not have the time money or knowledge to really storm chase like I don't know do I just find a storm on the map and drive into it or something I, you know I don't know it does sound interesting though and wow every single pump is full yes they do get a lot of hits I have watched occasionally some storm chasing channels uh, from time to time and I don't know why the CRV missed this pump this pump looks like it's open right here so I will go into here. 
and uh, I have to pump some gas, but enjoy your uh, enjoy your view live of the Oakdale Commons, I guess. The construction site to the right is the future home of Dave and Buster's, so that's going to be exciting. Can't wait for that to open. I'm sure my kids are going to love it. Uh, we use an 8-inch Dubrissant? I can't, I don't know how to say that. With a solar filter. Cheryl says, headed to Buffalo to view. Well, Cheryl, I've got Rochester, Syracuse, Binghamton, and New York City planned for live on the channel here. Uh, the live stream is already up. Oh, it's a telescope. Okay. I got it. The, uh, the live stream's already up on the channel along with the teaser, so make sure you guys go hit uh, follow on that live stream for Monday, April 8th. Um, it says we're going to start at 3 o'clock. I may actually end up starting a little bit sooner. Uh, it just depends when all my streams are available and uh, when I'm available. So, all right, I'm going to pump gas. I'm going to keep you guys streaming, so just sit tight. All right, $43 worth of gas later, and I'm ready to hit the road all the way to Endicott. <laughs>
So anyway, uh, if you guys haven't been to BJ's yet, the gas station here is not bad. It's usually a little on the busy side. Uh, the parking lot is not paved yet. <laughs> but the gas is decently cheap. And so far it doesn't seem to be bad or anything. I mean, it just seems like regular gas. <clears throat> Here's a... Uh, let me see if I can zoom out a little. Here's an up-close look at the uh, coming Dave & Buster's. Although it seems like... I thought it was supposed to be open by the spring or summer. But it looks like they have a long way to go. Although, you know, how hard could it really be to put some games and drywall in a space? Uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, Cheryl asks, how much a gallon? I just paid three fifteen a gallon, and you can get 15 or 20 cents off a gallon uh, depending on your uh, additional, depending on your membership level. Like, I know they have a more expensive, like, pro membership where you get an extra 15 cents off or something, and then if you get their highest level credit card, you get another 25 cents a gallon off, but I don't, I don't want to deal with all that, so I just pay the member the normal member price there's here's a look at the here's a look at the new sign going in at the Oakdale Commons I'll zoom out a little bit for you guys I wonder if it's going to be a digital sign uh, like a video board or if it's just going to be a run-of-the-mill uh, everyday sign it doesn't look like it's going to be a video board I don't know let's uh let's see if I can ask the guy I don't think there's any cars behind me Hey, is that gonna be a is that gonna be a video board or a regular sign? Is that gonna be a video board or a regular sign? Ah, lame. They should make it a video board. <laughs> See ya. Well, I asked the guy. It's gonna be a regular sign. Boring. Should have been a video board. But it's not my money that's paying to replace it, so. So there you go. You heard it here first on the channel. Normal sign going in at Oakdale Commons. Not a video board at all. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, okay. So for BJ's Plus members, it's $3 a gallon right now. For regular members, it's $3.15. <clears throat> so, I'm going to go down Harry L Drive here for a little while. But yeah, thank you again to everybody who supports the channel, all the members, channel members. Uh, thank you to everybody on Patreon. We have a lot, a growing list of Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Thank you to all those guys. And thank you to everybody else who just watches. 5,000 subscribers now on the channel. Unbelievable, really. Unbelievable. 5,000 subscribers. And wow, that was a really loud car that just went by. You got uh, Wegmans across the street here, which I read today is the busiest Wegmans in the whole company, or at least in New York State. So that's pretty wild. <clears throat> so for anybody uh, who's gotten their car inspected lately, I totally forgot that the state changed the inspection stickers and they look fake now like they literally they just print them off at a computer and stick them on your window I guess the old stickers the state had a mail to each inspection station and then that inspection station would punch out the the dates whereas the new ones are printed with information related just specifically to your car and its expiration date 
Uh, so I don't know if you can see it in the bottom left corner of the image there, but I got my new inspection sticker and it, uh, it looks weird. It just, it doesn't, uh, you know, the stickers haven't really changed since I was a kid. And now they're this weird computer printout that looks like anybody could print it, really. I mean, there's, it doesn't look any, you know, it doesn't look all that complicated. <clears throat> so we're on Watson Boulevard now. I'll take you guys for a drive down Watson. I uh, usually just take the highway, but I had to stop for gas, so that's what did me in. Oh, look at that! So I just hit 5,000 subscribers, and my car just hit 25,000 miles. Coincidence? I think not. The poorhouse on the left here. Let me know in the comments if you've ever been to the poorhouse. The food there is fantastic. It's a fun place. Former IBM Country Club on the right. Now completely gone. Fully documented its removal and pre-removal here on the channel. Although, for some strange reason, they left the tennis courts. The tennis courts are still there. Not functional, mind you, but still there nonetheless. But yeah, uh, kind of a boring live stream. Sorry about that. But I uh, just wanted to hop on and thank everybody for 5,000 subscribers on the channel. Unbelievable. <clears throat> And uh, drop me some comments. Let me know where you're watching from and what you plan on doing for the solar eclipse coming up this week. <clears throat> Just taking a leisurely stroll down Watson Boulevard for you guys. slows down to turn when all I really want to do is speed up. They're building something on the right side of Watson over here. They've been slowly building up dirt for months and months now. I don't even know if they're compacting it, to be honest. It looks like they kind of are, though. So maybe some kind of housing development or something? Something's going in over there on the right, on the left side of... When you're heading towards Enwell on the left side of Watson, there's something going in over there. Not sure what it is. CJ says, got my Eclipse shirt and glasses. Yeah, I got, I got some glasses uh, that I'll probably take outside with me when I set up the live stream on Monday. Bounce in between watching the live stream and watching the eclipse. <clears throat> Not a hundred percent sure if I'm going to watch it from home or if I'll go somewhere to watch it. Uh, I don't know. Not a hundred percent on that yet. I know I'm going to be there and I know I'm going to watch it and I know I'm going to live stream it from four different upstate cities. So, yeah, like I said, the live stream is all set up for that, so make sure you go hit the Notify Me button so you don't miss that live stream. The corner of Hooper and Watson, for those who are curious or don't know. This, uh, I don't know if you can see it, that right light right there, the bracket on it keeps breaking and it keeps turning sideways. And now there's another one on the other side of the light doing it, too. And this light's brand new. It's only like a year old, so. Bad brackets on that traffic light. Broadway Diner. Excellent breakfast food. Love to grab a meal there for breakfast especially. Got Burn Dairy on the left over here and Moravito on the right. I wonder how the Moravito has been affected ever since the Burn Dairy opened up over here. So anyway, 
uh, live streaming right now just to say thank you to everybody who supports the channel. Hit 5,000 subscribers uh, today on the channel. Unbelievable. Mind-blowing. Don't know what else to say about it. But uh, yeah, good things to come on Monday, April 8th. We have a solar eclipse live stream. We'll be live streaming from four upstate New York cities, and, or three upstate New York cities in New York City. So four all together. I don't plan on having the cameras pointed directly at the sun, but just more to give the overall essence of being in those places, if you want to call it that. <coughs> yeah, just wanted to uh, thank all of the valuable subscribers for subscribing and getting us to 5,000 on the channel here. And uh, yeah, this is uh, pretty much going to be the end of the live stream right here. It's the end of the line for me just about. And uh, thank you guys again for subscribing and supporting us and getting us to 5,000 subscribers. Have a great afternoon, everybody. Thank you again.